So yeah, a good fire. Today's plan was to fly the drone, the warp, but I got a flat tire. And now the drone flying I think is not possible because I don't think if my dad would come and see me flying the drone wouldn't be too happy about it. But yeah. What you gonna do? when you're in this situation, but I like the spot and maybe we'll come and fly the drone here once, I, once the tire problem will be fixed So yeah, this is quite a good convenience This thing I turn like a one and a quarter turn then this metal thing drops out from that bracket like that's how it's supposed to be and what comes out of it is the spare tire the spare tire I believe is from 2009 so at least for each age, it's in really good shape, doesn't have any at the outside wall or in the tread itself, any like bubbling. What I mean is when you have tire entire pressure and the tire has like a, a fiber structure, if the fiber structure gets broken, there will be a bubble on top of here or, or on the like in the thread itself. But for now, I will be using from 2009 a tire, the spare tire of this car. And it is the wrong size. Like every single other tire is 175, 70, and for R14. And this, the tire size isn't original to the car. This is the original tire size for that Peugeot But the 180 by 65 R40 To the car it's the correct size But all the... Every single of other of these tires are 175 by... Was it? But to my eye that tire is a lot better than this tire. So I'm gonna change out my spare tire first time in my life. Like actually changing the spare tire from the car to... So I will have one mismatched tire, but it's still better than a flat tire. This car can be used again, not just sitting on the parking lot. <laughs> now time to change it. It's a tire and it's holding air. 
That's the most important thing. As nothing has ever happened. Thank you.